In this lesson, we're going to calculate the circumference of a circle using the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. We begin with question A, where the diameter is five centimeters. So the circumference is pi times five. If you don't have the pi button, you could use 3.142 as an approximation. But in this case, pi times five works out as 15.7 centimeters. For question B, now the diameter is eight centimeters. So the circumference is pi multiplied by eight, which is 25.1 centimeters. For question C, now I could use the circumference equal pi d. However, I have been given the radius, but I know if we double the radius, both of which are six, we get the diameter. So what I'm going to use is the circumference is two times pi times the radius, or two pi r. Double the radius, you get the diameter. So the circumference is two times pi times six, which is 12 pi, and that works out as 37.7 centimeters. For question D, we're going to use the same formula, circumference equals pi times the diameter. To this time, work out the diameter when you've been given the circumference. So we're going to make the diameter of a subject of a formula by dividing both sides by pi, because that is the opposite of times. So the diameter is the circumference divided by pi. So 100 divided by pi, and we get 31.8 centimeters. And that is the diameter of the circle. The same idea for question A. The circumference is pi times the diameter. Divide both by pi to make the diameter the subject of a formula. So C divided by pi equals D. The circumference is 20. 20 divided by pi, and we get 6.37 centimeters. And finally, for question F, the same idea. Circumference divided by pi will give you the diameter. So 342 divided by pi, and that will get you 108. 0.6. So the 108.6 is the diameter of the circle. And we want the radius, which is half of that. So we'll do 108.6 divided by 2. And the radius will be 54.3 centimeters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out mathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.